Hey guys, this is Ben from Lone Star Hovercraft. And something I wanted to do for a long time now is a side-by-side -side comparison of three of the, the most common engines people use on all kinds of projects like uh, mini airboats, John boat conversions, hovercraft, even small experimental aircraft and things like that. And we just happen to have three of the more common ones in the shop here, brand new at the same time. So this seemed like a good time to do that. So I'm gonna take you through and explain uh, what each engine is and then give you some pros and cons for each and things like weights and some specs. Um, so starting off on the left here is the Briggs Vanguard 23 horsepower. This is 627 cc's, fairly compact V-twin. Next one on the right is the Predator 22 horsepower from Harbor Freight. This is 670 cc's. And last on the very far right is the Kohler this is the 26 and a half horsepower EFI engine at 747 cc's. Uh, we've used all three of these engines for a long time now on a lot of different projects. We'll throw some clips of some of the things we put them on here uh, at some point in the video. And the other thing that I wanted to share as well is, is one of the things that frustrated us early on is that it was really hard to find uh, reliable weights for these engines on websites. So, We've weighed all the engines on the same scale and we'll tell you the exact you know, weights we get along with what exactly those weights include in the way of mufflers and things like that. Just to help you make a more informed decision when you're trying to pick out an engine for your project. And we'll also give you a little bit of um, feedback on some of our experiences with the engines, things we like and don't. So let's dive right in. Um, so the first thing, starting with the Briggs, the smallest one you'll notice is compared to the larger Predator and Kohler, the Briggs is a very compact engine, so it's a, a fairly small V-twin. It's the smallest displacement here, um, so it's a really good value in terms of horsepower for the weight. Um, it's a really solid little engine. Next up is the Predator 22 horsepower from Harbor Freight. Um, when these first came out, they were an amazing deal uh, for the price they were offered for. And that's gone up quite a bit over the last few years, but they're still a pretty solid engine and a good value for the money, we think. Um, the only thing we're not crazy about with the Predator is they do have the one inch output shaft, which is kind of on the small side for this power. Uh, especially, it's really common to mod these engines. There's a lot of uh, parts out there for them. And you just have to be aware of the smaller output shaft when you're upgrading these engines. Um, one of our, our favorites right now is the Kohler EFI. Uh, it's you know, obviously a little bit bigger and heavier, um, but it's nice uh, because the fuel injection is pretty reliable and you don't have to worry about a, a separate choke lever, which is nice when you're having to run separate cables and things. It makes things a lot simpler. Um, so I'll run you through uh, over here in a, a second, just the weight readings we got. Uh, the Briggs, not surprisingly, was you know, by far the, the lightest at around 92 pounds, as pictured here, but except with the side muffler as well. The, uh, the Predator was a, a bit heavier, a little over 100 pounds, and the Kohler, ended up being around 115 pounds with the side mount muffler. So a couple other things to point out quickly, um, similarities and differences if you're you know, replacing an engine you've already got, uh, thinking about building your engine stand, things like that. Both the Briggs and the Predator have what is the most common uh, bolt mounting pattern and the PTO shafts are the same height from the bottom of the engine. So both of these engines and uh, a lot of the other brands as well, about five and a quarter inch height on the PTO shaft um, and the, the standard uh, mounting pattern here on the uh, engine cover. The Kohler is a little bit different. It's got a six and one eighth inch height from the crankshaft to the base of the engine. Uh, not a problem as long as you plan for it. It does have a different uh, mounting pattern, at least on the innermost circle here. The outermost circle with the 716 bolts is the same as both the uh, the Briggs and the Predator. So one of the other differences I'll talk briefly about is the uh, how you set up the exhaust on these engines and the sort of arrangement of the exhaust ports. So we're mostly always using belt reduction drives and occasionally a direct drive propeller, all of which require pretty good clearance um, around the exhaust ports. And one of the things we like about both the Briggs and the Kohler is the exhaust ports are, are set back a little further from the PTO shaft. So the best by far is the Kohler. If you look here, we have plenty of room for the, uh, the side headers here going to the side mount exhaust. Um, 
So there's a lot of good clearance uh, for belt reduction drive, direct drive propeller, and things like that. Similar for the Briggs, the side mount mufflers don't attach right now, but you can see with this, uh, this two to one collector and side, you know, side header here, you've got a pretty good amount of room to work with um, on with the PTO shaft, where you're using a belt reduction drive or a direct drive propeller. Um, the Predator, a little bit less room. Um, you can see we have a couple mufflers that we make, side mount pancake mufflers here. Um, and these work pretty well with a belt reduction drive that has a bit of a standoff off of the engine cover, but these start to give you clearance issues if you're running a direct drive propeller. Um, that's a common problem we hear about with people using Predators. Sometimes they, um, it's a little difficult to rig up an efficient exhaust without really sharp you know, bends and things in it that doesn't give you clearance issues with your propeller. Um, so that's just one of the differences we've noticed in these engines. One more thing to point out on the Predator. Um, we found that the pulse fuel pumps that come with the Predator are not that great. So unless you happen to have your fuel tank at the same height as the, the engine, you'll probably need to replace that pulse pump. And if you're pulling fuel up more than you know, a foot or two, um, upgrade to an electric pump instead. The pulse pumps we found on both the Briggs and the, uh, the initial pulse pump, the sort of uh, first stage to the Kohler, because it also has the uh, high pressure fuel pump for the fuel injection, of course, um, are a bit better. And so we generally use the stock fuel pumps on both the Briggs and the Kohler and replace the stock fuel pump on the Predator 22. Okay, so now I turn the engines around so you can see them from the front. Um, the one thing that really stands out as from the, the backside is just how compact the uh, Briggs Vanguard 23 is compared to the larger Predator and the Kohler. Um, we don't have dyno readings for the, the stock engines. We mostly run them stock. We don't do a lot of mods. Um, so take this with a grain of salt, but in our, our general feeling using these on different projects, you know, the Kohler is not surprisingly with the highest rating, the one that pulls the most running an air drive. Uh, followed by the smaller Briggs Vanguard, and last, the Predator 22. Um, so those aren't really firm measurements, so we've never run all three engines on the exact same setup, um, really. Um, but if someone did happen to have you know, dyno readings or something on any of these stock engines, you know, we would love to see them. I'm sure lots of other viewers would love to see them, so please comment if you have some good info on the, the uh, power of these stock engines. Anyway, that's about all I had. This is just a short video. I wanted to show you all three of the engines side by side. Um, as with a lot of things, you know, if you ask around, you can find people that that love and hate virtually, you know, any engine, and these included. Um, they've had you know good and bad experiences with each of them. Um, after using you know all three of these engines on lots of different projects, you know, be it hovercraft, you know, small airboats, job boat conversions, things like that. Uh, we've had overall pretty good luck and uh, you know, limited times where we've had to get warranty service and things like that done. Um, so we like them all, but everyone seems to have their favorite. Um, but anyway, please you know, like and comment below if you have any questions or comments. And uh, check out our other videos. Thanks.